Welcome back. I've imported my UV snapshot into Photoshop. I'm going to hit Control i to inverse it. Since this is a PNG, you can't really see too much of a difference because it's on a transparent background. But it will show up a little bit better. You also want to set it to multiply so it lays on top. And this needs to be the top layer at all times so you can see where the UVs are. So I'm going to come back here and just kind of take a look at what I did originally on my first skateboard. Uh, this is the top right here, the bottom and the sides. And I went out and got a few images online. This is on Jimmy Pickering's website, jimmypickering.com. Pulled a couple things off of his site. Uh, this is his also. This was off of a free vector of backgrounds. And uh, here's some bamboo that I also got. This is going to be the kind of basis for our skateboard. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this. I'm just going to select it all, Control A. Copy it with Control C. Come over to my snapshot and paste it in there. And again, I'm going to have to pull this layer, the UVs, over on top so now you can see them. Okay, and we can color correct this or add a color on top of it. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Just kind of get something rough in place. Let's pick something like that and go ahead and just fill the screen and uh, do some overlays just to kind of get a little bit richer color. You can also come in on this layer and select Hue and Saturation. That's Control U. And you can start shifting this around and get some different variations. This is something I typically come back to in the end and start adjusting based on sort of the colors I've chosen. I'm going to kind of set it right about here. Say OK. And I can always kind of pull back on that a little bit if I want to. All right. So let's come out and take a look at a couple of our images. I think I'll put this on the bottom, the skateboard. Just come in here and grab this with a marquee and control C to copy it. Just paste it in here. So it's a little small. These were not real large images. You want to try to get the largest images that you can to work with, highest resolution. So I'm going to scale up on this just a little bit. And if I zoom in here, kind of pan down to the bottom, I'm probably going to use my erase tool and set it with a brush that uh, will kind of break up the pattern here a little bit on the bottom. Start kind of breaking that up a little. So these are not any specialty type brushes. These are just common ones to Photoshop. There are a lot of brushes out there that you can download for Photoshop if you want to get something a little bit more custom. And I'll probably put something down here instead of just leaving it like that. Okay, I'll do the same thing up here. Okay. So we can even clone some of this and, and have it cover the whole area. A little bit larger brush here. All right. So I'll just select an area and kind of come up here and clone a little bit. This is probably a little bit better solution to, to cover this area. And it's okay to come outside. In fact, it's desirable to come outside of the UV edge right there. Just in case there's any kind of areas where there's some stretching, you're going to have coverage for that. Okay, so that's looking all right. And I think down here on the bottom, since this character does end right there, I'm going to put something kind of down here that he's sort of maybe fallen into. So I'll create a new layer and I'm going to select a color off of him. Probably this kind of dark color in here. And I'm going to go ahead and just draw a marquee down here on the bottom. Go ahead and just fill that. Okay. And then I'm going to come back with my erase tool and come down and look for a brush that's going to kind of break up the surface a little bit more. 
So something like this. Start breaking that surface up. So it sort of looks like he's fallen into some, some tar pit of some sort. Okay, and I might come back here and just paint in some variation. So I'll select another color, maybe kind of a little green mucky color, and come back in the paintbrush that's kind of similar, and just go ahead and create a new layer right now and just kind of layer that in. I might go ahead and get just a darker color in here. Kind of come back on top. And I can change this out for something a little bit different. Bring the size up. Here we go. All right, so he's kind of fallen into some, some mud here. All right, so I'm just going to combine these two layers that I did. Just go ahead and merge those two. Let's come back out here and take a look at our bottom of our deck right here. So I've got this guy here who's broken. And I think on the top, we're going to put Calamity and uh, kind of fade her into the scene there. Just pasting that in there. All right, and it's nice that she's kind of on the small side. Might even scale her down just a little bit more. And I'm going to come in here with my erase tool again, and just start kind of eating away at some of this real quickly. Getting the edges first. If I really wanted to spend a lot of time on this, I might come in and just completely erase the background and just have her kind of standing there, almost like a little logo. But kind of for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to kind of quickly throw something together here, show you how this works. Okay. and drag a marquee around the top part of the deck. And I'm going to duplicate this layer here just so I have my original. And I can always come back to it. So I'm just going to duplicate layer. And normally I would come in here and, and name everything. I'm not going to do that just because it uh, takes a lot of time. But it's very good to, just like the outliner, to come in here, go through and label everything so you know what's what. OK, so with this selected, Darken it down just a little bit. I'm trying to blend her in just a little bit better with that background. Here we go. Okay, now that we have that done, let's just come over here and maybe put a little stripe down our side. And maybe we can pick this sort of red color. So I'll sample that to get us into the range. Okay, and create a new layer up here. And just go ahead and use the paint bucket and fill that. Okay, now that I've got that one, I'm just going to cut and paste it. So or copy and paste and drag it over here and line it up. And it looks like I'll need to scale it up a little bit. It's just a little short. Okay, so control T. And I'm just going to scale it up like that. All right, so I've got these in place. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I'm going to save it into my source images directory. And it's going to be called deck texture 2. And you can save it as a Photoshop file. That's fine. We can bring it in uh, with the layers. OK. 
And there's one last thing we need to do here. We just saved our file out, but we have our UV snapshot laying on top still. These wire frames will show up on your image if you leave them on, so you always want to make sure you come over here and turn off the visibility before saving it. So let's just come back under here and save over the file. There we go. So we've got this image complete. Let's end the lesson here and we'll pick things up in the next lesson, bringing this image into Maya and setting it up for material on our skateboard.